which uh, these medical problems are not just children but the entire population in fact the entire world is facing today uh, dr deepak chopra you've been focusing on these you've studied and written about cy cytokine storms that's what i've read uh, your literature about you publish a lot of articles you and your team of doctors that you work with and these cytokine storms play an important role in the fatality rate of covid-19 what exactly are these cytokine storms so uh, pranoy in the last uh, decade or so it's become clear that people who have chronic disease of any kind uh, including things like uh, cancer or heart disease or hypertension or autoimmune disease or frequent infections all these people also have what is called chronic inflammation in the body they are correlated so all the people at risk right now from covid-19 are those who already have low grade chronic inflammation what is becoming clear right now is that those who are getting acutely sick they not only have chronic inflammation but they have acute inflammation the acute inflammation is like in the form of an injury like when you bruise yourself you fall down you have an injury that's an acute inflammation that occurs any time you have pneumonia or any other respiratory illness and the people who are falling sick or uh, or getting extreme morbidity or even dying they have added on to their chronic inflammation acute inflammation and that acute inflammation is referred to as a cytokine storm so it is almost guaranteed that anyone who feels sick or is getting sick acutely is also getting a cytokine storm which means lot of inflammatory proteins in their circulation are there any ways in which people can prevent cytokine storms uh, happening in them and and what are these ways if there are any what we have discovered and others have to it's not just we and our team is that any time you stimulate a nerve in the body called the vagus nerve it counteracts inflammation so that's also well established you can stimulate uh, the vagus nerve through electrical devices and a lot of uh, research is being uh, done on that but vagus can be stimulated through deep breathing through pranayam through yoga through yoga asana through different postures the vagus nerve has branches going to every organ in the body the hollow organs the heart the visceral organs even the microbiome which means you can decrease cytokine storms and even chronic inflammation this work is already published you know you can look up on uh, google things like polyvagal theory etc what our team is putting together is a program of meditation mindfulness yoga deep breathing and emotional resilience to stimulate the vagus nerve with the expectation that the acute inflammation will come down by at least 70% that's what the initial data shows some of this is published and some of this is in publication at the moment 